Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, at the ZF Aftermarket here at the Otto Mechanica in Frankfurt. It's a great pleasure to give you a very warm welcome. In our first session, we will talk about passenger car, about new products and innovations here at the Otto Mechanica. It's a great pleasure to welcome on stage Richard Aci. Welcome on stage. Nice to have you here. And Alessandro Elias. Welcome on stage, and also a very warm welcome to Johannes Mack and Ulf Hase. It's a great pleasure to have you here, and last but not least, Erik Moratz. Great to have you here. Richard, before we dive into the product news and launches ZF Aftermarket brings to the industry this Auto Mechanica, can you quickly give us a broader picture of the value proposition of ZF Aftermarket to the passenger car segment? Sure, of course. Yeah, well, at ZF Aftermarket, we benefit from one of the widest product portfolios available from a tier one supplier. Uh, supported, of course, by very strong brands. This product portfolio ranges from braking through to steering suspension, vibration damping, transmission, and also clutch. And we'll continue to expand this product portfolio as the new mega trends of e-mobility e and also of ADAS come into fruition. Um, and at ZF, we look back on a long heritage uh, of OE manufacturing. So we take quality pretty much as a given. But we don't just apply that quality know-how to the parts where we're OE. We also apply that to our all makes, all models program. So we focus on the largest vehicle part coverage, great speed to market, and also putting a focus and ensuring that the vast majority of product that we're selling is actually produced in-house, be it in an art. Um, OE facilities or in an aftermarket manufacturing site. All right, you mentioned ZF Aftermarket's OE competence. Can you give us some examples how this translates for the aftermarket and what it means for your customers? Yes, certainly. Um, we have very close contacts to our OE divisions, so we are fully aware of all the new technologies that are coming, coming into uh, the aftermarket as well in future from e-mobility and also from autonomous driving, as I mentioned. And we see that already, these trends moving into standard components, which we already know, such as shock absorbers. Shock absorbers have already gone digital. Uh, we now have CDC shock absorbers, continuous damping control, electronically controlled shock absorbers. But we're also going to see more simple components, like a ball joint, for example, also going digital. That's going to have a smart chassis sensor included in it. And it's really when all these parts are connected into a full system that they've really come to fruition. And that's what we call chassis 2.0. Yeah, that sounds a complexity of product and systems is also increasing. Alexandre, in your category control systems, can you report a similar trend in regards to complexity, future needs and solutions ZF can offer? Yes, that is right. Um, and uh, I believe this is right for all uh, uh, categories inside ZF. We clearly see a shift from single mechanical components to system solutions. So to put it concretely for my category, from the braking system, the brake pads, to, for example, automatic emergency braking, so-called AEB. Yeah, we like acronyms in our industry. Um, and what does it do is that the system is able to detect and recognize a dangerous situation. And really, instead of the driver, hit the brakes uh, harder and faster and stop the car in a safer in a safe uh, manner. So we are still talking about braking, but in a completely new car architecture, yes, and in an automated uh, uh, manner. This is saving lives on the, on the road, really. Uh, and the EU Commission is putting now this system mandatory from July 2022 onwards for all new uh, vehicles. And the good news is, is ZF is uh, among the leaders in this uh, industry, and we keep investing massively. So, but what is it for us in the, uh, in the aftermarket? It means that ZF is able to provide the complete systems from the braking conventional portfolio as you knew it uh, uh, today, um, plus all the different ADAS that enables the autonomous um, driving. So, for example, now we are piloting for a major uh, vehicle manufacturer to have a, reman a remanufactured 
camera introduced. If this proves to be successful, we reintroduce that soon to the independent aftermarket. So you see, this example perfectly illustrates the shift yes, from the conventional components uh, into advanced technology leading to autonomous driving. And this is a complete solution ZF can bring to our customers and to the workshops. Um, but beyond safety, uh, there are many fields of application for autonomous driving. Um, for example, autonomous driving contributes to a better and tailored mobility, hence less traffic jams in the city, hence a reduction of CO2. All right. So that sounds interesting. Speaking of CO2 reduction, Alessandro, can you share some facts around this topic, particularly in your area of responsibility, the braking segment? Sure. Um, and I'm quite engaged into the sustainability topic. And the category really committed itself to create a differentiation into the product uh, to reduce the ecological uh, footprint. So sustainability is really at the heart of our business decision every day, and only doing so can you really make uh, an impact. Yes, and I think we walk the talk, and let me uh, give you a couple of examples um, we are having now. So if we talk about braking, talking about the brake pads, we have production centers in the region, for the region, in, in to the, close to the customers. This saves a great amount of uh, CO2 into the transport. But not only that, uh, our facilities uh, for brake pads in Europe, in Spain, are is using 100% renewable energies. Yeah, means energy made from the wind, solar, and hydropower. Uh, and doing so, we have so, uh, saved 12,000 tons of CO2 last year. So that is great. Um, but here's another example, Caliper. Uh, for decades now, we are proposing and offering a full uh, remanufactured uh, 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 Caliper range. Um, so means reusing the old material, the old cores, uh, completely bring it, the new Caliper, to uh, our OE specification and sell it uh, back to the customers. Doing so, we have saved 1,500 tons of CO2 um, last year. Uh, and last but not least, I would like to take the opportunity uh, uh, to make an announcement uh, today at Automechanica that uh, from January 2023 onwards, inside our TRW brake pads, we will be using 100% recyclable brake uh, poly bags for uh, our brake pad box. Um, and doing so, we will save as well nine tons of, um, of, of plastics. So you see, we keep working hard on all those topics and we will, uh, we will keep doing so. Perfect. Thank you so much, Richard and Alexandre. And I think now we can take a look at the news of the Automechanica. Johannes, you're part of the chassis team at ZF Aftermarket. What are your, some of your product news you can share with us today? Yeah, as Richard mentioned, even uh, standard products within the chassis portfolio are going digital. Let's take shock absorbers, where we are further extending our aftermarket range with SAC CDC shocks uh, with 150 new references by 2023. This electronically controlled shocks have a proportioning valve system which reacts in a split second, ensuring maximum comfort, stability and shorter stopping distances. The CDC shock is one of the key element of chassis 2.0. As an additional highlight to the existing vibration damping portfolio, we are now also introducing a range of 50 air springs. This product complements the existing chassis offering perfectly. We will be launching a range of uh, rear axle air springs in October this year with further range developments to come soon, completing the offering with front axle air modules for a comprehensive all makes all models program. With the integration of Wapco, set of aftermarket now also benefits from the full OE offering of Wapco car compressors. This further supports our customers as a one-stop shop for all their chassis needs and puts us on a good path towards chassis 2.0. That sounds exciting. 
I would like to know from Ulf, I've heard that there is more new. What's new in your product area? Definitely, there's more to come um, in control systems. The central pillar of our control system is braking. And indeed, we have brought three braking innovations here to Frankfurt Auto Mechanica, which are demonstrating both. On the one hand, our ability to follow closely the innovations coming from the OE divisions. And secondly, as well, helping the garages in their daily work and understand them with pragmatic solutions. So let's start then with the first one here, the S-leg or the small lower abutment clip. This is a very tiny little helper, almost invisible in the caliper. Uh, this is directly derived from the OE um, brake systems. And this spring clip is pulling the pad away from the brake discs after braking. This eliminates any drag between the pad surface and the disc surface. And uh, this saves petrol and, of course, also emissions. This is good for your budget and also good for the environment. The first five pad fitting kits incorporating this technology uh, will be um, launched during the course of this year. But that's not all. We also have uh, brought here a caliper repair kit. Yeah? This, this second feature product demonstrates uh, that we are not only taking care of the needs of our direct customers, but, but understand also very well the needs of their customers, the garages. They know from their daily tasks that it's often more feasible or more appropriate to make a quick fix on a caliper than exchanging the complete part into a new one. Um, when we are now providing the right equipment for this exercise. The repair kit, visible here in the middle of the display, contains not only the original screws, bleeding screws, bellows, and guide pins, which you can find on the TRWOE braking systems, but also all the other tiny bits and pieces which make a caliper repair a handy job. All these parts are coming well assorted in this sturdy box with pre-labeled compartments for easier refill ordering. And finally, the third one, what we brought here, uh, is a good example um, for ZF aftermarket bringing OE innovations directly into the aftermarket, which we are pro very proud of. Uh, when you visit us here at the marketplace, looking around at the ZF booth, you will find the electric uh, brake booster. Yeah, you can ask why. Why is it here on display? Yeah, because we are bringing this technology into the independent aftermarket very soon as a TRW part. This ABB here on display has been developed for the main Volkswagen electric car platforms and is a key element to enable automated, fully connected, and electric driving. A completely new driving experience and soon available to the aftermarket. Ulf, you also keep evolving your existing products, I know. What is happening with the electric blue brake pad, a first to the aftermarket a couple of years ago? Definitely. Yeah, we were first to the market with the idea to develop a dedicated pad for electric and hybrid cars already in 2018. Since then, the segment had, has grown massively in volume, which not only enabled us to bring many new car applications into the range, but also to de develop our material further in the three key criteria, noise, corrosion, and performance. The new material is absolutely copper-free, and we also added a very nice logo to the uh, surface of the pet for a very appealing look. That are exciting news. Thank you. So staying with the topic of e-mobility and hybrid, Eric, you can also bring some innovations and news with you, right? Yes, of course. The ongoing shift from combustion engines to hybrid and fully electric vehicles is also reflecting in our product area. Here we are pleased to announce that we will extend our ZF Lifeguard oil family to dedicated e-fluids for uh, electric and hybrid vehicles. These oils are high quality oils, uh, which are really focusing on the much higher torque and force which these drivetrains uh, are able to, to gain. 
Also, it is important to mention that these special e-fluids are relevant for uh, reducing wear of the drive line. They are reducing um, energy losses and they increase the efficiency of the vehicle. But let's go a bit more into details. What we have here on hand are three new oils. We have the ZF Lifeguard Hybrid 1 and 2. Both of them are dedicated for our own ZF 8HP hybrid transmission. The difference is simply that the Hybrid 1 oil is focused on the third generation of the transmission, while the Hybrid 2 oil is the right one for the fourth generation. Also, we have here our new ZF Lifeguard E-Fluid 1. This can be used for really a lot of electric vehicles. So, for example, Volkswagen ID models, for Tesla models, for Renault Zoe, and also for Nissan Leaf. Having these new oils ready, we are start directly with a coverage of 50% of the electric and hybrid car park. And we will not stop here. Of course, we will increase our coverage. We will introduce more e-fluids for electric and hybrid vehicles. Further, we will focus on Toyota hybrid models and also on Mercedes e-vehicles. And also, this is a must, we will extend our whole product range to include also e-grease and e-coolants. Yes, as you told us, you won't stop here, Eric. I know that linked to the e-mobility topic, there will also be a launch of a new e-power and e-mobility module into ZF Aftermarket's well-renowned workshop program, ZF ProTech. Can you give us a little teaser, Eric, please? Sure, with, with pleasure. You are absolutely right. We will also introduce a new e-power module to our ZF ProTech workshop program. Beginning of next year, we will offer that module to our ZF ProTech members. And this is really a great add-on to their existing partnership because workshops have to focus on all about electrification and e-mobility. And this is the real advantage of this module. It is really focusing on supporting and helping workshop partners to be e-mobility ready. For that reason, there's a bunch of supporting um, additives what we are offering to our partners. One is, for example, a dedicated sign, what you can see here on the screen. Also, we will offer special trainings for the workshop partners, for example, for high voltage uh, trainings. And also, they will be able to get communication material so that they can demonstrate their own competence for e-mobility. All that is coming um, during the year to the partners, it will be updated automatically and then also shared with the partners. And then on top, we will also offer the workshops the option to have charging stations ready at their premises. With that, they can charge their own vehicles and also they can offer their customers to charge the vehicles free after the repair job is done. So this is then a win-win. We can complete our module and also the workshops have a kind of extra value what they can offer their workshop customers. So I would say stay tuned and let's see what it brings early in 2023 when the program will start. Yes, stay tuned. This brings us to the end. Thank you so much for your time. Ladies and gentlemen, you can talk to them directly at the booth at the Automechanica 2022 here in Frankfurt. And at the end, we heard so much about the new products and innovations. We prepared a small video for you. So let's have a look. Here are the highlights. <laughs> 